Yawning. Most of the sand yawning. Just do it yourself. Cause a clutch. Strengthened is totally fine. No need to buy this one. The ring around the basket. The additional rivet. And here the standard eight rivets, but with the welding points. The rivets here, and these are the welding. Twelve or fourteen original spring. The basket with the ring and the sixteen rivet. Proper clutch linings. The clutch sprocket. Original clutch plates. It has to freely turn. Then you're good. This Thing. So the big question is, is this clutch appropriate for tuning? It's not. Not because of this small tooth thing. This is not that bad actually. The thing is, the ring is missing, number one. And number two, we only have eight rivets here. And these rivets were designed for 12 horsepower which means 9 horsepower at the wheel and as soon as you start tuning you are endangered that these rivets will crack and that these hardened inner part will get loose And having cracked, broken, hardened rivets in the gearbox, it's not what we want. Yeah, sure. If you have inside, they of course will stay inside the clutch when it cracks. Because we have the pressure plate here. And on the other side it's closed as well, so they will stay inside. But anyways, we want to drive. We don't want to service the clutch do we so is it a tuning clutch to cause a clutch it's not because the ring is missing and it only has eight rivets and they're too weak so what options are out there there are actually two options available based on the original clutch it is this version what do you see here you see here number one the ring around the basket this strengthens the basket and you see here these colored spots we still have the eight rivets and the standard in the port but it was strengthened we have eight additional welding spots to additionally connect the inner part with the basket once again from the other side the inner part and the basket they are well, let's take a screwdriver oh, let's take this one so the inner part and the basket they are connected over these standard eight rivets and additional the welding points so how do you do that you may have seen the other guide I made you just drill holes first and then you weld both parts together that's version one of a tuning clutch based on the original clutch and accidentally I do have the second version here it is Ooh, let's take out the linings I'm gonna show that later to you The other version is this one here. Sip. Why not making it worse meant for sip? You see, no welding points, but eight additional rivets. So in total, 16 rivets. This has the big advantage that we also can apply 16 springs here. So the inner part and in the basket is still the same. Standard in a part ground ground plate it's called sorry ground plate it's still the same but 
you can use 16 rivets and when you saw the other guide use the weakest clutch springs possible because this is saving your second big clutch bearing the weaker the springs are the longer this clutch bearing will live because the clutch is pressing on this inner ring but just check out the other guy so this is still based on an original clutch basket the inner part is also the same it has the ring around the basket and 16 springs so we have these two versions 16 springs or 8 so we have these two versions 16 rivets 8 additional or the original 8 rivets and 8 additional welding points and the ring okay this one is nicely done doesn't matter in the end who looks under the clutch lid no one does the free version of a do-it-yourself strengthens cause a clutch for tuning for 20 22 25 horsepower yes it will work with the original small tooting the inner part is that's an original cosa basket it has the eight rivets it does not have any ring around the basket and these are the two things to do to strengthen it we have the version with the eight additional rivet welding points we have the rivets here and these are the welding points or instead of welding you can just add eight more rivets it has the big advantage that you can use 16 springs this is good you see the ring around the basket the additional rivet and here the standard eight rivets but with the welding points you see it with the colors and this is the original it's not always needed that you buy a 280 300 euro CNC tuning clutch because I'll show you pictures then I mean It really does look cool, doesn't it? This tooting compared to the other old school tooting. Look at this. Huh? So small. That's so weak. This is so strong. But is it? I will show you pictures about the use marks here. This is actually one. It's from Serbia, thanks to Jean giving it to me it is a Polini 2 to 1 it's a Polini 221 18 horsepower so standard tuning nothing special it has quite some marks Here you see with this Polini super strong clutch it even cracked it has about 20,000 kilometers and yeah you may ask yourself is it super strong when this inner part is cracking I'm not so sure so just for standard tuning and let's be honest guys most of the tunings are just around 20 horsepower or less most of the tunings these options either the 8 with the welding or the 16 rivet basket it is enough it will work fine and what you see here and you have here some small marks at the two thing but nothing is broken nothing is one millimeter from the beginning Standard tuning, most of the standard tuning, just do it yourself. Cosa clutch, strengthened, is totally fine. No need to buy this one. Remember, 
80 bucks, 40 bucks. Double as expensive, but double as good as this one. Something to discuss. Use original springs. An original Corsa clutch has eight springs. Just use 12 or 14 original springs. The weaker the springs, the longer your big clutch bearing lives. These are harder springs, we don't need them anymore. So what do we need for our do-it-yourself tuning clutch? We have the SIP Sport Corsa clutch basket with a 16 rivets what do we need for the do-it-yourself 20 horsepower tuning clutch we need the basket with the ring and the 16 rivets we do use of course proper clutch linings Honda CR80 EBC CNC machined to fit the original Cosa basket. We have the clutch sprocket, in this case it's a 22 teeth. The standard inner part. The original clutch plate and a strengthened circlip. We can now assemble our do-it-yourself tuning clutch. What do you see here? They're dry. Oh my god. They were not soaked in for two weeks in oil. Shit, this clutch is never gonna work. It is enough to just oil it when you assemble it. I'll show you that in a second. <laughs> There is the last one. We have the do-it-yourself tuning clutch basket with the ring, with the 16 rivets and 16 springs. Let's assemble this. Make sure this ring is fixed, that you don't miss this washer here. That's the ground plate. We also do need a sprocket. Then use the spanner. Now it's always a little bit tricky, but the ground plate fits. Come on. No. This is already the first clutch test on the workbench. Always disassemble every clutch and test it. The sprocket has to turn freely. This washer is not allowed to stripe the sprocket and the small feet. The small feet. The small feet of the sprocket are not allowed to strap the basket. It has just to turn freely. This looks good. Now we're gonna fill it up with the linings, the plates, and then the circuit. <laughs> So, the assembled do it yourself clutch, sixteen rivets. The assembled do it yourself tuning clutch, twenty, twenty two, twenty five horsepower, sixteen rivets. A ring around the basket, Honda CNC machine clutch linings, a strengthened circlip, and the spanner is still on. Compressor, God, 
the compressor the clutch compressor is still mounted and this is the second separation test fully compressed it has to freely turn then you're good this means the clutch is working if the clutch in the engine is then not working anymore it's not the clutch it's the clutch lid it's the engine case but not the clutch guys have a nice one guys have a nice one if you liked what you saw subscribe more info coming up see ya ciao <lacht> ein Biest! Sorry, ja. Bist du denn, was ist das ein Biest jetzt? <lacht>